I'm happily married and nobody is making me say this. <laughs> <laughs> So we are unbraiding cow's hair today. Yay. I think you guys saw that we unbraided badgers. Technically, we did it right back to back. Ba a cow has already started. She really wanted to go really, really slow. Okay, she really wanted to do one on her own. But I figured since Drew's here today, home this evening, and he's going to be helping me, I figured that we could talk about the story behind why I was three hours late for our wedding. What do you think? I think that'd be a perfect story to talk about. <laughs> so in case you guys don't remember, Gina and I knew each other for about five years before we started dating. If you guys want to see how we met, check out the previous video we made. So I'm skipping ahead of time. And uh, we've already gotten engaged. We have set a wedding date. We ended up setting our wedding date for spring break because I was in school at the time for nursing. You want to go ahead and defend yourself before I tell how painful the wait was? Uh-uh, so there's no defending myself because one, I explained to Drew beforehand that in our culture, it is very normal and typical to be late for a wedding, did I not? Which I'm normally, I'm normally okay with because my mom is late to everything. I ended up um, telling Drew beforehand that it was very normal. And so he was like, it's totally fine if you're late. Uh, my mom is usually late um, mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And so I like, I know everyone wants to be like, you were so disrespectful and stuff like that, which is crazy because one, it's a cultural thing. Like we, that is very typical to go to Caribbean weddings and for it not to start on time. Um, it's just how it is. My family, that's how we've always done it. I've gone to other Caribbean weddings, that's how we've done it as well. And so, um, really, it's like it wasn't. I like Drew knew from the very beginning. I let him know, and it's just normal in our culture to like for this to happen. What ended up happening on my side, unless you want to say your side, I think you should talk I about. I think your I should side. tell my side. I should. Tell you guys how painful it was this painful. was. This dude knew. He knew beforehand. I knew Gina was going to be late. I had her, known her long enough. I knew the woman I was marrying, and I knew she was going to be late. But I didn't know how late. Okay? By the time... I warned you. I warned you. Guys, I just want you to comment below how, how late you think is late. Like, if you're letting your partner or spouse know, I'm going to be late to our wedding, just comment below how late you would say late would be. We went to like a baby shower before we got married, but they were only an hour and a half late, y'all. It only started an hour and a half late. So that maybe gives you an indication of how late Gina was when I was expecting her to be like an hour late and, uh, and she wasn't. It was, it was past an hour. I get till the one hour mark and I had to call Gina and say, hey, is everything okay? You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm on the way. The one hour mark, guys. This is how I I'm think you don't remember way. everything. Go ahead. Uh-huh. It gets to about an hour and a half, and I say, you know what? My mom isn't here yet. Let me go ahead and prank call her. That just shows you how he wasn't even stressed, that he was just playing pranks on family members, calling them. Go ahead and tell them what you did to your poor mom. I called my mom. I was like, hey, yeah, you missed it. Sorry. Sorry, mom. Love you. I felt really bad afterwards because she ended up crying on the phone and I had to be like, no, 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 I'm just playing, just playing. I'm still waiting on my to-be wife to come. So she showed up probably about an hour and a half late and uh, Gina was still not there. About two hours go by and my brother decides, you know what, if Gina's not going to show up, somebody's getting married today. And so he starts asking cousins, family, friends, basically anybody in a pretty dress that's single there, hey, do you want to get married today? And that's what I had to deal with. I don't know why you keep looking at me because it's not like you had some worries that I wasn't coming. It's not like you had pre-warning beforehand. I didn't until after the two hour mark. That's when I started to get scared. No, you didn't. Two hour mark? That's I was such, like, oh no, my goodness. Not. 
You can turn around, sweetie. <laughs> they were cooking the food back there, and it was like, okay, do we go ahead and um, start eating? Maybe we just let everybody eat while we're waiting on Gina to come. Are you done telling your, your side of the story? Maybe. Okay, what else? I'll chime in. I'll chime in when you... No, you're not. You no. Yeah. Go ahead and say what you gotta say. I mean, that's basically what I did up to the three-hour mark, y'all, is get solicited. I get solicited out to eligible bachelorettes at my own wedding by my brother waiting on my wife to show up. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm, you, I want you guys to write in the comments, give me some reasons why you think I'm, I was late because there was actually a good reason why I was late. Uh -huh. I don't think you even remember why I was late. Oh, I remember. Do you? Okay. Yeah. I'm going to continue finish this and I actually have to go start um, um, dinner. And so I'm going to go do that and then we'll come back and I will explain to you why I was so late. But you know what? I still love you. After 11 years, y'all. Oh, uh, so dinner was awesome. And we have decided we're going to wash Cal's hair in the morning. And Gina will get to tell you her part. But before she's able to, I just want to let y'all know, I actually am not that mad that she showed up late. I mean, I knew she was going to be late. And I was a little worried about the two-hour mark. But uh, it's been 11 years. And we're happily married. And so I know I made I know I made the right choice. I knew what I was getting into and I'm happily married and nobody is making me say this. <laughs> <laughs> Gina's laughing at me. I think she's finishing up some dishes from dinner. Finishing up some dishes. People are still going to think I made you say something. <laughs> we know yeah. the truth. <laughs> so let's skip forward to see you guys in the morning. My design to defend myself. I had to go get my hair done for the wedding, and I went to go get it done like I typically, like any other bride would. And I got there. I felt like maybe I was already late going there, mm -hmm. um, but not by much. We got there. She started on my hair, um, and she didn't take forever, which was a really, really good thing. She did a really, really great job uh, on my hair, um, and then I had to drive home. So as I'm driving home, I'm realizing, man, like, like things are a little bit off time-wise, time-wise, oh, okay, okay. time-wise, it was just a little bit off. And so I just realized, okay, I'm going to be a little bit late, but it's not going to be too bad. I got dressed, I was getting dressed, and my uh, friends helped me, like my bridesmaids, and um, I, like, things are going good, like, for how things kind of were starting off bad, like, what, oh, time-wise, it wasn't too bad. The issue is, I got done getting dressed, right? And I realized if I leave right now, I would be at about almost like 50 to an hour late. I would have been, so out of those three hours were technically my fault. One of those, uh, one of those hours out of the three was my fault. Which is what I suspected should be about an hour late. The issue was my mom and sister went to go get their nails done and their hair done and then I think they had one more other errand. My mom was like, I was the one that paid for the um, like the limo and so essentially I was just a bride sitting in the house just waiting for my sister and my mom to be done. Yeah. And so I was really frustrated because I was just like, hey, like you knew what time, I knew, we knew we were gonna be late, but not this late. And so then we ended up being three, the, out of that one hour, cause we would have been one hour, I had to wait an additional two more hours. Three. I had to wait an additional two more hours for them. And then that's when we left. I Telling remember like, I got so bad that the, the clergy that was marrying us knew Gina for a long time. So he knew she was gonna be late. But about the two and a half hour mark, he came up to me and he put his arm around me. He said, Drew, 
uh, do, do we need to be worried? And I was like, I don't think so. Uh, but we were texting back we're and okay. forth, weren't we? I felt like we like texting and calling. Yeah. yeah. I feel like the ceremony went faster because how late it was. No, I feel like it went the same amount. You think it went the oh, same? Oh, yeah. So we got the groomsman and the bridesmaid. We lined everybody up, and then, of course, I went in there first and waited on Gina. Then uh, your dad walked you down the aisle mm -hmm. and, uh, and handed you off. And it was a wonderful moment. That's honestly what I remember the most about our wedding is Gina walking down the aisle and uh, yeah here we are 11 years later I am late like I'm a person who's chronically late but never that late mm -hmm. like you know this I don't like to be that late it's yeah. usually more like 20 at max yeah. 30 minutes I mean that's why we were worried because it was <clears throat> even on your lateness schedule it was a pretty it, excessive it, yeah. uh, to what it normally was but we made it through and I think what we did is we just decided to have a bunch of drama on the way to the wedding so that the next 10, 11 years could be smooth sailing. Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> well, so, I'm going to let you finish okay. Cal's hair and uh, I'm going to go pack everything for our anniversary trip. I know. Mm. The funniest part is that we didn't even want a big wedding. Like we wanted a small, intimate, like there's a few close family friends. We actually wanted to elope, remember that. We talked about eloping as well. A Just lot. Go up to the courthouse, get some paper signed. Cause I don't know. And then announce to everyone, hey, we're married. I know, <laughs> because it was just, I don't know. For me, it was just like the fact that like, I found you. I didn't really mm -hmm. care about a wedding, mm. whatever. <laughs> it, I don't know, the wedding was not, the part that I like imagine the most is more of like the marriage for me. Yeah. And so like I know it was a big deal to my parents and that's why I allowed them to like have it. Mm -hmm. But in reality, if they had given me a choice, I know for sure yeah. we would have eloped because we yeah. talked about it a lot. But we did and we decided to have a true Haitian wedding. Our uh, wedding cake was flew flown in from New Jersey. Yeah. It was like yeah. triple tier with like a Fountain and stuff. Fountain and, uh, and had uh, How many people did we have? 200? No, we didn't. We only had like 150. 150? We, we filled up the chapel, y'all. Yeah, but that was not, I even that, I had to fight my parents because I only wanted like 50 people, mm -hmm. 50 or 60 people, and I did not win that, obviously. <laughs> but it was great. I don't regret it. I don't either. I love you. I love you too. Bye, guys. Hope, uh, hope you guys forgive Gina like I have for being three hours late. Bye guys.